So a couple of days ago, I was thinking to myself, am I a Johnny Zest fan? Yes. Yes, I am. Because I realized for the past couple of years, I've been building him a brand new trailer, but I never really gave him like the best life that he deserved. Because Nancy Landgrab, the shady lady with green eyeshadow, bleach blonde eyebrows, and some tacky looking shoes and outfit, she gotta go. She crazy. So I thought, why not make Johnny Zest be the sole owner of his little community of Oasis Springs and make sure that he's better than Nancy and has a well-paying job, better skills, but also has friends that he can rely on if he needs company from time and time again. And so today I am building a trailer park community where Johnny Zest is that owner and has friends nearby. And if you haven't seen the creator sim or the runaway teen starter home that I built, I will link those videos down below to kind of get you more of like a detail about Johnny Zest and why he owns certain different properties in this area. So let's go ahead and check out the build. I am honestly not joking when I tell you I'm a full on Johnny Zest fan through and through because when you open up the game in a brand new save file, you see this big old lot with a small little skinny little trailer, one bedroom, one bathroom, the house on the outside looked dusty crusty and on the inside it's just janky and sad. That when you look at his life, you are thinking, why does he have this life? Why is he like not richer or, you know, famous with his career as a comedian, has a like well-paying like job with good skills? It's all because he was disowned by the land grabs, more specifically in my eyes, Nancy Landgrab. Because when you look at her, shady looking lady with green ugly eyeshadow, bleach blonde eyebrows, haircut looking like from the 80s, and the outfit just looking a little bit janky. She gotta go. She gotta like dip out and leave. I never liked her from the very beginning that I've always felt like when you disown a child in The Sims, it feels like they deserve better. They need to have a life where they, you know, can succeed. And every time that I play The Sims, I'm always thinking, how can I make my Sims succeed whether I've created them or not? And I want to give them the best life, whether they're struggling or, you know, <laughs> they're going to do something with their money or something with their, you know, influence that... Whenever I created this save file for Oasis Springs specifically, is that it's like a desert wasteland in my eyes in different parts. There's these different sims that have different lifestyles, different backstories, and there's always something to tell with them. And like we have the land grabs, we have the Calientes, we have Johnny Zest. And it, like to me, I'm thinking, how can I make these sims better? And I always forget like that one little, you know, for love you know, square place, though, I think they're called the roomies in Oasis Springs. I don't really count them because I hardly ever play with them. I mean, Jay Huntington the third, he's non-committal. He's crazy. Don't trust him. Do not have kids with him. He will not pay you child support. Trust me. I know I've done it before. And he, he's like trying like back paying like 20,000 simoleons. And I'm like, I'm waiting. Where's my money? Jay Huntington the third, give me my Sims money or I'm going to report you to the popo. But as I was saying, Johnny Zest, Nancy Landgrab, the Calientes are like the iconic Sims that we all know. And I'm trying to give them like the best life or the worst life, depending on how I feel that day. And Johnny Zest, he is technically, he is technically the, the sole owner of the Oasis Springs housing grant. And he did technically open up this grant to one singular teenager who is a runaway teen, but he's emancipated and lives across the street from Johnny. That was like the, like the one requirement that he had to do live in this house, live right across from me. So I can monitor what you're doing, going to school, having your job, you know, doing responsible adult things that he would, basically pay his house bills for him so the teenager wouldn't have to. And I thought that was like a really nice thing for him to open up his, you know, influence, his his money every once in a while to give someone that needed something. And he's a very giving person that this lot specifically, he has opened up his, you know, little humble abode, his home lot to basically several new families and the creative sim that I made a couple weeks ago was these like technically three adults were well, one adult and two young adults and then two little kids a child and an infant 
And I was so happy and so proud of like how it all turned out that Johnny Zets is a full on family man, even though he never really had like, quote unquote, a family to take care of him, love him, cherish him, you know, support him in his endeavors that he thought, if I'm going to be the person that I want to be and like grow up in this like day and age, I might as well help other people in their time of need. And so the first build that I'm doing is Johnny Zets you know, his new home, it's in like the same technical like space of where his old home used to be. But I think it's like a little bit smaller, I'm thinking, or it might be a little bit bigger. Actually, no, this house is bigger than his original home because his original home was like, I don't know, five by like 19. I don't really know what the dimensions were, but I just know it was small. His kitchen is a little bit smaller than his other kitchen, but I felt like he didn't really need much space. Plus, he doesn't really cook that much anyway. And I did want to mention that this whole entire build is completely base game. And my save file for Newcrest is also base game. And so will Oasis Springs and Willow Creek. And then after that, you know, and we'll add in the other packs as I continue to build more and more. And it's been so much fun being able to like explore building in a new way that I haven't done before because like I mean I build base game houses here and there every once in a while but making a save file from scratch where you're building your own builds community lots making your own sims setting their skills their careers their relationships all to different levels making sure that the environment looks really nice making sure that they have a certain amount of money it takes a lot of work, especially if you want to be as detailed as I usually am or I want to be, because storytelling means everything to me. I'm able to craft something, something like nothing into something and seeing how it can flourish and grow over time, whether I'm playing with the save file or not, but knowing full well that these Sims are well taken care of because the way that I've built their story is fantastic. But I made sure that Johnny Zess had everything he needed and more some. He's at level five of his, of his comedian career. I think originally he's at level two and he's super like well liked in the community in his little humble abode. He's what's funny. He's actually like semi good friends with Nina Caliente, but despises Johnny Zess and Nina. Well, Nina. Yeah. He's good friends with Nina hates Katrina doesn't like Dina and it really despises like um you know Don Lothario and the reason why he likes like Nina more is because she was actually the one person that helped him apply for this grant and you would think the Calientes I mean why like why would they you know help you know poor old Johnny Zest well it's because they helped he helped them when they needed help in a certain way and not in that way, but like, you know, help with, you know, certain things around the house, you know, finding a new home. Like that's what like they kind of did. And, you know, it's like, I'll help you, you help me. And Nina Caliente was like the one person that actually helped Johnny get the grant, was able to help other people, to help that teenager, Nathan. And it was just so really genuine, very nice that open, opening up his lot, you know, space to two other families, was something he wanted to see like carry on and I'm hoping to one day like explain more about why I do what I do with certain of my my fam my families that I create and seeing where like it leads off and I probably should do a video of that but I don't know if anyone's interested in like how I create my storylines or how I kind of come up with these random wacky things out of nothing because I'm telling you, I don't know myself. I just talk and words come out. Do I plan ahead of time? Sometimes, but most of the time, like the build that I did, like for the runaway teen, I didn't plan that out. I just wrote a name and then literally talked as I was like doing the video, like the Oasis Rings housing grant. That was like, Ooh, brain. You're thinking of something like, let's, let's say Oasis Springs housing grant make it Johnny Zets where he owns something. And then we carry on to the next build, which is this one of why Johnny and how he got that grant. Cause we all know Johnny Zets is broke than broke than brandy broke. He needed some help. Did he apply for a grant to the bank? No, it was Nina Caliente that helped him get that grant because she went to the bank in her name, signed the whole little thing, you know, secretly to Johnny's name, you know, a little something, something, you know, a little on the DL, but 
Johnny Zest, like I said, he's a family man and he has no kids in the safe file of any kind, but he does help when it comes like to babysitting, making sure the kids are doing their homework. And he's not really a stay at home, work from home type of sim. He does have like that nine to five like career where it's like a rabbit hole where he like just travels off the lot. But from time to time, he'll like call off, you know, take some vacation days when the parents on the other lot in the pink house, which their names are Melina Arnold and Shannon Joyner. They're currently engaged right now and they are a lesbian couple. They loved each other. They love, no, they love each other so much to the point where like they can get married one day. And I'm very excited. I will leave that up to you all if you want them to get married or not when you play the save file, because for me, I'm going to have them married. I want them to have a happily ever after. If, you know, I get bored with the whole fun, lovey-dovey, you know, gameplay and then cause drama and then Sims, up, Sims end up dead somehow. But nonetheless, Shannon and Melina, they're going to get married in my gameplay. In your gameplay, that could be different. But they are currently pregnant together and Shannon's carrying the baby. It's their first ever child. They moved to Oasis Springs all the way from Sam Ishuno, living in like a very good, decent sized apartment, but they felt like the way their the lives were like changing and like, you know, where they could like, with their income, it fluctuated a lot. So they decided to downsize, move to a different location, settle down, and they stumbled across Johnny Zest and his humble abode, his little lot, and realized there is this like nice little home. It's a two bedroom, one bathroom trailer, and it's in the desert, but like not in the desert. And the amenities are like really nice. It has good community amenities and good in-home amenities that they could rely on. And also for their kids or their child. Not really sure how many kids they're having, but I think they're having one because I did that with MCC. But this is actually their house and their home is like really like quaint and cute. I didn't want to go full crazy with everything of the clutter because I knew that the Sims that were going to live here, they didn't really have much furniture to begin with. They had to sell everything to downsize to move into here. And it wasn't cheap. It was like 36,000 simoleons to live in this specific like unit here. And it was worth it though. They were, you know, expecting a child. They are well in their careers. Like Shannon, she's a freelance artist. She's always been like an artist type Sim who's always wanted to be creative in some medium. Her parents supported her for so, for so many years. They're not really living anymore. They passed. They lived in Chestnut Ridge for like a couple of like 70 some odd years. And they died not like pretty early on, but like they died in Chestnut Ridge. So Shannon time to time like remembers her parents here and there but doesn't really get to visit them because Chestnut Ridge is a hop and a skip away but it costs a lot of money for her to travel there on the salary that she makes from from clients every once in a while but also what Melina makes as a athlete who I believe she's at level four of her career right now but it's hard for them to travel when they are expecting a baby and they don't want to risk anything at this time so they're just kind of like waiting it out, see what things are like. And if they can one day travel there as like a family, then they will travel to Chestnut Ridge and visit, you know, Shannon's childhood home. Like Shannon used to live, she was born and raised in Chestnut Ridge. So being able to live there and be able to see her cousins and her family is like really important to her. So I'm hoping to one day that she'll be able to like, meet them. And she's actually, I think she's technically connected to one of the pre-made families in Chestnut Ridge. I forget what their names are, but they're like that big family with the horse and everything. If you know that lot, it's like in the farther down lot. It's that big ranch. I can't remember the name of the families, but you know, that family, the big thing with the horse. And I think they have like four, four or five Sims in that household with the horse, but I don't know. They're really connected. And they're really nice. And I'm hoping to one day Shannon can go visit them one day. But until then, we shall wait and see. But 
I did have to do a lot of like modifications for this build because when I had built this initially, I was building it on stream like so many months ago. And I have like this backlog of like builds that I've been recording on stream for the past couple of months because I'm going away on a trip for like six days TwitchCon, which is basically next week in Las Vegas, California. No, Las Vegas, Nevada. And pre-recording takes a lot of time and editing takes a lot of time. But this is like the one build that I actually wanted to show because it was something that I was really passionate about. And it was like my favorite build because it was Johnny Zest. It was three homes on one lot. And I felt like it, it could have been bigger, but I never really want, I could never see Johnny Zest moving outside of his like home base, if that makes sense. Like we all have our own Sims. We all have like their own, you know, home base where they have to live forever and ever and ever but we just keep remodeling that lot to upgrade their house or downgrade their house or change some wallpaper change some flooring like stuff like that and johnny says he's like you know the founder of the oasis springs housing grant so he did allow to like open up certain positions like he had like a lower tier for the housing grant which is the one that lives across the street with a teenager and then he has like a higher tier housing grant where he did allow melina and shannon and also dylan apply for those said grants so that they could live on this lot without paying too much money so they all chip in and even though we don't technically have a rentable system in The Sims 4 where you could be your own landlord and rent individual properties, I use my version of storytelling to think that, oh, we can one day. I would hope that we can one day. That'd be really nice if we could. Um, I'm hoping that's for the next expansion pack because if it is, I'll be very happy. But I have like this tendency of thinking that Sims deserve to live on their own lot, whether they're like living all together and it's like four separate families on one lot, it would make sense to see how they can all compromise and, you know, see the growth in collaboration and community. And this is like the community center of Oasis Springs in my eyes. And Johnny says hosts like musical competitions or like, you know, musical, like music night on the slot. And there's like a little stage on the side. He has like, you know, a, like a monkey bar. He does some grilling from time to time. Dylan does mostly the grilling in this little area, but they have a grill area. They have a little music stage and it's really cool and very grand. And I could see a lot of Sims living here especially if they ever eventually move out. I don't really see Johnny Zest moving out anytime soon just because he's he has a long life to live. He has so many things he's he's worth. And I don't know. I hope to one day that we can get rentable lots so that way Johnny Zest could move out of this, like, you know, this, this lot, but still technically own it, but rent out his home to other Sims and like live his like vacation retirement. Like I'm like really, really excited about like my Sims gameplay right now because I've been playing my current household and it's been so wholesome to see the growth of where it started to where it's now. And I, I don't know, I already had posted a video about my current household. If you haven't seen it, I had posted it on Monday, I'm pretty sure. So if you haven't seen it, I will link it down below in the description. But I'm really pleased on how it's turned out because Aspen is pregnant with her second baby and they're starting to think to renovate the second, third bedroom downstairs. Like, I mean, Winston's going to go off to high school in, in Copperdale. Like, it, it, there's so many possibilities that my Sims, I want them to thrive so badly. And that's why I can see Johnny Zest and Shannon and Melina and even Dylan, like his two kids, like he had a science baby so many years ago before he moved to Oasis Springs. He used to live in Willow Creek with his parents and now his parents live in a retirement home in Willow Creek with other different elders that live there. And it's really nice to see that he's, he, Dylan lived in a house full of love and, and happiness that he didn't really want to like get married. He didn't really want to be settled down. He doesn't like being, he's not non-committal, but he doesn't like to be in a relationship because he's been hurt one too many times by other relationships and people within his life has always let him down when they need it, when he needed them the most. So, and his parents were there when he needed them the most and when they needed him the most. So it's like, 
I love you, you love me, and it's like, you're my ride or die. So he's relied on making his life better, one for himself mentally and physically, but also for his two kids. And his two kids, he had adopted one kid named Sierra, Sierra who was at a B level, and it's a really good science prodigy, which I did not know that until like a couple of like while ago. And Sierra loves science. Like she deeply loves science to the point where it's like she wants to be a scientist or like some type of doctor of some type. And I want to see that for Sierra. But then for Benjamin, he's a science baby. So like Dylan used his genetics to like have, you know, Benjamin. So there really isn't like a mother in the picture or like any other like significant other that had these kids. Sierra was adopted. Benjamin was a science baby and Dylan is Dylan and he's thriving as a freelance writer, but I don't know. The zesty besties are thriving, loving it. And I'm very excited to show more about them, especially when I build the next property that will probably be very nice for you all to look at when you see the next speed build, which will be base game and will probably be a starter home. I'm not sure. But nonetheless, I'm going to go ahead and go into the game, show you all the house in real time. And you can see the Sims flesh and blood or flesh on pixel. I don't know. But let's go ahead and go into the game. So now that we're into the game, I can finally show you all the houses for each and every Sim. And let me tell you, I am so happy that I built each and every house differently. I mean, exterior wise, based on like the roofing and the wallpaper, it looks the same. But on the interior, there's like a story behind each and every single room. And I love that. And I wanted to make sure that since Johnny Zest is the, like, the sole owner of like this lot particularly, I wanted to give him some personality into this build. So I put like this little stage that we got from the Sim sessions a long time ago. You can find these on the gallery and still download them and make them functional and they're very playable, perfectly fine. But I also wanted to include other variety of things if other Sims were going to move in or move out or have a party. We still have like a little sandbox over here. We have a grill, some seating, some monkey bars for the children. And I just really love the fact that kids have more things to do in base game. Like whenever you place down sand in the Sims for whatever sand you have and you put like a fence around it, you have like your own makeshift like sandbox. And so kids can come over here and play in the sand. And I think it's so adorable that they can do that. But I also like the fact that other adult Sims can come here and hang out and have fun and throw parties and I don't know, basically like let loose. But as for Johnny's house, you can see his home is pretty much filled in in every nook and cranny. It's just because his career has upgraded, his look has upgraded, his friendships are upgraded, everything has been upgraded. And I wanted to make sure that his home reflected that, especially for his future. And I wanted to give him like very basic stuff where it's like his living room, his like his kitchen, his office, and like kind of like his bedroom a little bit, but more stuff for like the other kids that might come here when Johnny does babysit from time to time for Shannon or for Dylan. I wanted to give him like some kid toys so that way when they come here, they have something to do rather than nothing. But his home is like he's like nook and cranny. He really loves being home. He's a homebody, but he is like an extroverted person. So he likes to like be inside whenever he can, but also gives him a chance to explore life. So I did give him like two different music awards because he did win them and he wanted to display them. He had like some My Sim figurines, some books for the kiddos to read. He loves music. So he has like his little stereo, which I will enable emotional aura. I gave him a little punching bag because he does work out from time to time. And then in here is his bedroom where he does all the sleeping and relaxing. I do have like this little kids activity table and then some kid toys for the toddlers and infants over here and the crib. But you can see little Benjamin Chapman is an infant and this is actually not Johnny's child. It's Dylan, Dylan Chapman's child. And like I said, Johnny is a family man. So he does help take care of Dylan's kids. And whenever Shannon has her and her baby, he will also take care of the kids whenever, you know, they're traveling or doing whatever or need a break. Johnny is there for help, to help with anyone. So little Dylan here is, or little Benjamin, Ben Ben is over here just kind of chilling, doing his own little thing. Um, but this is technically Johnny's home, of course, his little bathroom as well. But his home is pretty, pretty unique 
pretty rectangular. Um, over here I have a little garden area for them to like kind of do their little thing. And then over here is actually Marlena and Shannon's house. And you can see it's a little bit bigger than Johnny's home and also Dylan's home because they are expecting a child and they needed more like more space. So I gave Melina and Shannon like a very small ring a ding bedroom because you don't really need much. And I honestly don't know why I have a TV in here. It completed the wall. No painting was going to complete it. So TV shall be. But this is a little bedroom. I kept it very green and very lush because Melina does love green and has like a little you know, little necklace on her little neck. But this is Melina, what she looks like. And I think she looks very grand and happy. She's an adult. She is technically in the athletic career at level four, like I said. She has a few skills, like a level three and level five. And then of course she has the friend of the world aspiration. And then over here is the baby's room. And I'm pretty sure I did only include only one child when I set everything up for Shannon because they have no room for two kids. If they do, that's gonna be on you when you download this build and you download these Sims. But this is a little baby's room and then we have their bathroom and then of course their kitchen, kitchenette type of little place. And their kitchen's actually way better than Johnny's home. It's a little bit bigger, but it, when you think about it, it's technically all the same size kitchen, just like different layout. But this is Shannon over here, and she is actually a painting extraordinaire. She's a freelance artist, of course. She already has a gig already lined up. And she is a full-fledged young adult, 25 days until she ages up. But she's in her first trimester right now as a pregnant lady. But she's really cute and very, very snazzy and quite cool. But that's a little home over here and what we got going on. She can still work out from time to time if she wants to, but she hardly ever does that because she don't got no time. But then over here, we have like a little woodworking area where Dylan does a lot of woodworking from time to time. And then we have these little tombstones here. But then we also have like some sugar skulls, Day of the Dead stuff as well, part of um, Shannon's little history and Dylan's history as well. And then this is where Dylan, Sierra, and Benjamin, little Ben Ben, all live in their little humble abode. And this is actually the last one that I did because I thought it was like a nice little quaint something to give them, no, well, I don't know. It, it just screams homey without being too over the top. But this is Sierra and she looks like a little mini like Alexander Cassandra goth because the glasses are literally what Alexander is wearing and then the black hair. But... I don't know. She looks really cute. She has little fingernail polish on. She's like a very like happy-go-lucky kid. She loves science. She loves the outdoors. So she has like this little experimental table over here. But this is their bedroom where Sierra sleeps up here, of course. And then little Ben Ben sleeps down here. And then over here we have the bathroom. And then this is where technically Dylan does all like his work. He's a young adult, so he does a lot of things on the computer since he is a freelance writer and wants to be a best-selling author one day. So he works here pretty much 24 seven, occasionally, you know, goes out and, you know, grill something on the grill, perform a little song song, or go do some woodworking. He does a lot of different things. But then over here we have like the kitchen and then Dylan's bedroom, which is so tiny. Like he has the smallest home compared to, well, actually they're all the same size. Like his house is the same size as Johnny's home, except everything is pretty much compact smaller because Dylan has kids and Johnny doesn't have any kids. Like if Johnny had kids, his house would have been way, 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 way smaller for his own bedroom and the kids would have a bigger bedroom. But I do love the idea of Dylan's bedroom and it's just really cute, very grand. He's bisexual. So he's like wanting to represent himself and others in his little room. That's a random photo of a random lady he does not know, but it could be a relative. We don't know could be but then that's just like you know little him his little home his little thing and um yeah that's pretty much the entire build of the johnny zest zesty besties always the springs housing grant community build and uh yeah if you want to download it it's on the gallery my origin ID is just spring sims it's all one word it's all up there and it's just like any build that i do 
I always upload it. I think I also have the Sims that I made for this specific build on the gallery as well. So if you want to download the Zesty Besties, they will be up there. With that being said, I do hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below if you are a Johnny Zest fan. If you're not, let me know why and who is your favorite Sim? Because that's the thing that I would love to know. But regardless, as always, I hope you all enjoyed it and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!